In this video, we want to compute and simplify the difference quotient for the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. So let's first begin by writing down what the difference quotient is. The difference quotient is the quantity f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And remember, this is a, a quantity that gets used a ton in the study of calculus. And if we know an x value and an h value, then this actually represents the slope of a secant line. So let's start one piece at a time. And I'm going to start with the f of x plus h portion here. And kind of ignore everything else, just focus on what's highlighted in red. What is in the parentheses is your input. So this means that we are going to take x plus h and we're going to input it into our function in place of x. So if I substitute x plus h into our function in place of x, then I'm going to have 2 times the quantity x plus h minus 5. So I just substituted x plus h in place of x. Then we're going to subtract, and the next portion we're subtracting is just the f of x, which if we look at what f of x is, f of x is just the original function. That's the 2x minus 5. Now be careful here, because when we subtract 2x minus 5, we have to make sure that it's in parentheses, because there are two terms there. So we want to make sure we subtract all of the terms of the function. And then the whole thing is divided by h. Now the rest is just simplifying. So we'll go ahead and distribute 2x plus 2h minus 5. Distribute your negative here, negative 2x plus 5, all divided by h. Simplifying, the 2x's will subtract out, the negative 5 and the 5 will subtract out. We're left with 2h divided by h which leaves us with a final answer of two. So the difference quotient simplified all the way down to equal two in this case. Now let's think for just a second why we're ending up with an answer that's just a number. We didn't end up with any X's or any H's in our answer. So think graphically, what does the function f of X equals two X minus five actually look like? And hopefully you recognize that that's just gonna be a line with a y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of positive 2. So to graph that, we would just travel from the y-intercept up 2 and right 1, up 2 and right 1, and we would do that repetitively, and we'd end up with our line. So if you think about drawing a secant line, um, if we were to pick any two points on this curve, and this curve happens to just be a line, any two points on this line, if we were to connect those two points, the secant line would actually be the exact same as the line that was we, were, we were given. So if the difference quotient represents the slope of the secant, in this case, the slope of the secant line, since it is the same as the original function, the slope of that line is 2. So our answer of a positive 2 makes sense, in this case, for this function since the original function was a line. 